Hello guys, welcome, welcome to Technology Welfare. Let's see in this video tutorial how to remove a completely iCloud activation logo from this Apple device. At the moment, this iPhone 4 has been connected with iTunes, but whenever I'm going to connect the this Apple device, it's a saying that your device is linked to an Apple ID, interior Apple ID, and a password. That's what we use to set up this device. In this situation, if you are not a genuine owner of this device and this is in activation lock mode, yeah, if it is in a lost mode, yeah, you have a go in anywhere else and whole data has been erased and it has been attracted in the activation lock, iCloud activation lock. In the situation now, it's not a matter of anxiety just I will show you very best trick by using this absolutely 100% you will be able to terminate or eliminate permanently or remove permanently this activation log so from your any Apple device but at the moment with live I would like to show you this is iPhone 4 so now see once again more information whenever Connect this device in iTunes. It's a saying that after assessing the data that your device has been linked to an Apple ID. So now see here, data has been started to assess. I will have to wait. Here, by using these tricks in this facility, uh, no need to have any beta version firmware. Uh, without installing, without downloading any firmware, by using these tools, easily you will be able to. My trick is here, just uh, uh, firstly you need to backup. So whole data is available on that device, Yeah, was available on this device, and thus will be backup. And after restoring of this ones, I will enter in a backup data and there I will change some configuration data and yeah, I will remove some configuration data and after removing once again I will connect this for activation and if a little bit troubleness is coming in the server then of course I will get an opportunity to terminate permanently this activation and the once time if you are going to disable the find my phones and then permanently of course you can generate your new Apple ID and password so no need to touch with your phone just I will do everything with the iTunes and some software so see at the moment it's a you know activated lock now see I have a one tool that is a I backup both for iPod and iPhones this software is developed for iPhone device guys so just have to okay some error can become so be assured your data, uh, your data cable and along with this especially your internet connection this will be a quite good otherwise you might have an error while you the proceeding this all the procedure now see here just I will click this device has been connected at the moment I will go for backup so just I will click on a backup now now we have opportunity here one is in iTunes backup second is your on any where so I'm not going to backup this in iTunes otherwise if I am going to the backup this data on iTunes what will happen I won't win it is there to change any configuration data that's why I'm saying you especially I need to come on a backup to another folder and just I will choose here browse browse to desktop desktop this data should be on a desktop guys so i have selected one folder and now it's a uh, might be error it's the same so don't worry i have a selected this one on a desktop now i'm going to okay so now at the moment uh, before before going uh, just uh, before clicking on a especially ok button just what you have to do check it out your internet connections because it's going to restore all the backup your all the data that is available on your device so internet connection is quite good here so just a click on this now see guys here almost it has started to back up so I need to wait here and let's see what will happen it will take a time is costly 10 to 20 minutes so you have to make the consistency here now see it's going to almost back up now see backup completed do you want to load it so just uh, I will go for here yes now see it's loaded 
Now see one thing here. It has here detected the system file, user applications, app group, and application plus holder files. So here, and this is iPhone 4 guys. Now see. Now what I will do, just I will click on this system file I need to go here. Now what we have to do here, I need to choose configuration show. Let's see system preference domain. Yeah, system configuration we need to show. This is Apple iCloud. No. Uh, just uh, this is. Um, let me write here. C O N F I. Not a proper working. This one's. So just you have to choose here manually. Domain root domain I cloud this friends yeah container domain Apple ID and um, database find wireless data domain where it is find iCloud this one system container library let me backward this one let me forward I need to delete it this selected data <coughs> Once again, here just I will come in domain. Uh, let me here this one check it out. Domain Apple ID server domain. This one's yeah. Now, see, this is a document, guys. In document, let me back and TMP there both just uh, select it and just go for delete it whatever data is available or not now I will come in not a media domain just I will come on root domain <coughs> I will go for library there is some data here yeah. so if I click then preference now it's a let me forward sorry backward and catching that's one also both so see guys here both I need to are deleted so <coughs> just this library also <coughs> should be deleted so just I am going to delete it now <coughs> let me have this um, not uh, this one also I have deleted now see guys here this is very important important things anyhow you need to delete this is a share container domain along with along with yeah just below the Bluetooth configuration profile this should be it all deleted guys it all deleted and find my phone device this one also you need to uh, delete off this one so just I click on and this library I'm not going to see anything just delete it so now see it has deleted now I will come on this find my phone device this one 
also I need to now see just uh, I will click here on a find my phones but it's not going to why it is so because I have already configured delete so now it's deleted at all because if I see the configuration is data there no so this one also already deleted now what you have to do once again you need to this ones yeah on a I have already deleted so now this one I need to restore on this device so configuration profile I need to restore it so yes full restore petrol restore so I am going to partial restore this ones so I will go for ok now see it has started to restore and this one find my phones this one also let me restore it I'm going to partial restore and restore completed fine no problem this one's also I need to restore I'm going to restore now see guys my phone has started to reboot automatically Now phone is rebooting at the moment. Now here is not a device connected. So phone is rebooting at the moment. So just guys I am going to open it. Now device is detected. Let me fine it's going to detect it's rebooting it's loading guys that's why not a iTunes and this one also not working proper way in iTunes now this one has been connected at the moment for directly restoring if it is not going to unlock then once again you need to go for restore this ones so what you have to do restore from backup just you need to click on this and you have to choose this one that you have kept on a desktop this one and you need to click here it will automatically come on this desktop uh, after this one because I would like to show you guys just to let me minimize this one now see it is this all data is a here on a now see this ones so just uh, let me come on this yeah directly this one this can be restored so at the moment this phone has been rebooted now let me this ones it's still let me here on this still now see this device has been also gone from iTunes so <coughs> let me wait what will happen now a still phone is a rebooting guys so I need to wait here It will take a time is scarcely 5 to 10 minutes so still this device hasn't been connected so I need to wait this ones and on the other hand see here this ones it's connected but iTunes has been disconnected guys at the moment let me see this situation this is disconnected now see device has been once again detecting because after rebooting once again it's coming live this device especially I would like to show you in a next time the wherever new device will come at my soups but at the moment just 
for your acknowledgement that's how you will go for it's a more reliable guys easy be easily you can terminate this any device guys now see it has been almost here yeah. now let me come on this on iTunes on iTunes it's not connected here still on iTunes it's not connected but uh, on uh, this one's let me go for refresh it it also I was uh, connected to unlock so that's why now see it has been finally this iPhone 4 has been connected on iTunes still it's not so just I'm going to cut it from here and once again I'm going to open it might be configuration error now see I have opened this ones now see here is a sign of this ones and here is now see guys sorry here yeah. backup restore and this new setup of this so just I'm going to new setup this device and just I will click here now see it has started to sensing of this and there is no any cloud link on this device guys now see I need to wait here finishing update it's almost ready just I'm going to start it now see it's your all now it has been a totally now if you would like to generate a new Apple ID on this so simply you need to go in a sign in and in sign in after coming just go for a new creation so it has started to assist now see this is your ID real numbers etc etc of this device see here also you can restore of that backup that's I removed here from uh, see I would like to clear this conception if it is not a functional this tool then this data is available for you here after removing this one so yeah on here guys now see here in a system file after removing this iCloud find my phone and configuration if it is possible that you can restore this data once again on your device then of course easily you will be able to terminate it otherwise here yeah, in the restoring but iTunes will trust easily guys so don't do this just generate a new Apple ID and password by using this ones and just do uh, removal of the whole data from here that is from the configuration as well as Apple iClouds find my phones so this is all about in this video tutorial guys if it is informative and acknowledgeable more reliable this method go ahead blindly guys of course you will be able to terminate but old one absolutely 100% guys you will be able to terminate that's already uh, below especially I'm the 12 iOS and uh, upper 12 iOS I will upload one video by using another tool there will be nothing to do just by using this tool you will be able to terminate so if you have a upper iOS uh, from a 12 guys then um, I will upload the next video in that you need to watch of that and then you have to go for execution so this is all about in this video tutorial if it is informative and acknowledgeable then please consider to like subscribe and also leave the comment if you have any more query this is all about in this video tutorial thank you thank you very much indeed have a great time